A continental glacier is an expansive, continuous mass of ice considerably bigger than an alpine glacier. Although it can share some of its erosional and depositional features with an alpine glacier, a continental glacier creates some unique landforms. A kettle lake is formed when a sizable chunk of the main glacier breaks off and is buried under till from the main glacier. The till is a mixture of finely ground rocks, boulders, and sand. Underneath the till, the glacial ice melts and creates a depression in the landscape that eventually fills with water to form a lake. Drumlins are tear-shaped hills that are formed beneath the glacier and are created by the glacier depositing rocks rather than eroding the landscape. A drumlin landscape is characterized by soft rolling hills and is often called a basket of eggs landscape. The position of the drumlin tail or pointy end indicates the direction the glacier was going in as it moves from the blunt towards the point. Drumlins vary in length from 60 meters to just over one kilometer. An esker is a long, narrow, winding ridge composed of stratified sand and gravel deposited by a meltwater stream that was flowing under the glacier. Eskers may range from 5 to 50 meters in height and up to 500 meters in width, and could range from a few hundred meters to tens of kilometers in length. The sediment is sorted according to the grain size, and they show only one flow direction. Eskers are considered to have been left by streams that flowed through tunnels in and below the ice that were let down to the ground surface as the glacier retreated. While river deposits are often sorted into different sizes, all glacial deposits are angular and unsorted. Erratics are large rocks or boulders that are often found on their own rather than in piles. They are unusual shapes and unusually large. They are of a rock type uncommon to the area where they have been dumped. An iceberg is a large piece of freshwater ice that has broken off a glacier or an ice shelf and is floating freely in the open water. Because ice is less dense than water, most of the iceberg is below the water line. You have been introduced to a number of new terms. Review these terms until you are familiar with them.